And this one is a team-based strategic miniatures combat game. And in this game, each team is going to be issuing actions to control a robot out on the main board. And of course, the objective here is to try and be the last robot standing by eliminating all your opponents. But your opponents aren't the only thing you need to worry about because there's also a shared threat that all the players are going to have to be dealing with known as the demons. But the way that this game actually plays is that each player is going to have their own personal player board as well as three action tiles. There's going to be a tile to activate your strategic ability abilities, your movement abilities, or your attack abilities. And the way that these action tiles come into play is that each player is going to be simultaneously selecting two of the three and then assigning them to one of the numbers on their personal player board. The different numbers correlate to the different sides of the hexagonal spaces, so whichever number you're issuing it at indicates which side of your current space you want to activate it. When you're issuing tiles to your own personal player board, you're doing this in secret, which means that you're placing the tiles face down. And keep in mind that you are on teams here, so this means that your teammate doesn't know which action tile you're playing. After all the players have chosen their actions, they're then going to be simultaneously revealed, and then each of these actions are going to be activated in order of strategic actions, movement actions, and then the attack actions. But something that's interesting here is that each of these slots on your own personal player board also have a icon associated with them. And if you and your teammate play the exact action in the exact same spot, then you're going to get a super powered version of that action, which means that you're going to be able to activate the ability associated with that slot. But after all the players have performed their actions and any additional effects, it's then going to move over to the demons where they're going to be spawning more demons out on the map, then activating them and causing chaos to all the different players. The game continues like this until either the demons win or until there is just one player standing and then that player wins the game.